Hi, I'm Michael LaFoss from the Origami Doe Studio, and this is a butterfly for Del Rosa Marshall, a dear friend, mentor, and a wonderful origami artist. I designed this butterfly after being inspired by her beautiful origami botanical creations. A typical 15 centimeter square of origami paper produces a wingspan of about 10 centimeters. This butterfly has a major color and a minor color. Begin with the minor color facing up. Fold in half, bottom edge to top. Unfold. Take the bottom edge to the center crease, but make only a pinch mark. Unfold. Here's the first pinch mark. Take the same bottom edge to the pinch mark. Make a new pinch mark. Place the bottom pinch mark upon the upper pinch mark. Fold all the way across. Rotate the paper so that the folded edge is at the top. Fold the corner to align with the top edge. Do the same thing on the other side. Take the bottom edge to the center crease. Make only a pinch mark in the middle. Unfold. Fold the bottom edge to the pinch mark. Turn the paper over and fold in half, bottom edge to top. Notice the crease. Use it as a hinge and fold the smaller area across to cover the larger area. Stand the smaller area up, open like a cone, squash fold. Turn the paper over to the other side, use the same hinge line, and fold the rectangular area across. Notice the flap. Roll it out as far as it will go flat. Turn the page and do the same on the other side. This base hinge is flexible now, which makes it easy to open and squash. Take the square corner to the top of the split and set the triangle flap perpendicular to the rest of the paper. Tip the paper to the table. Open the wing paper all the way to the cone center and squash. Be sure the fold goes from the center to the top corner and then from the center down to the hind wing. Repeat on the other side. Notice this layer. We're going to lift, pivoting at this corner, we're going to swivel, guide the paper to the corner at the bottom of the wing, and squash. Repeat on the other side. Open, pivot, squash. Turn the paper over to the other side. Notice this raw white colored edge and the colored raw edge that crosses over. Take the corner to the point where those edges intersect and flatten. Make sure these raw edges are aligned. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Corner to intersection. Aligning the edges. Turn the paper over and look for this folded edge here. Mount and fold along this edge. Then turn the paper over and lock this remnant into the pocket. Do the same thing on the other side.
turn the paper over to the other side. Between this raw edge and this hidden corner, fan fold or pleat the triangle flap into thirds, producing alternating colored and white triangles. Repeat on the other side. Mountain fold in half. The square corner is the butterfly's head. This is the abdomen. Take the folded edge, swivel it over the far wing, make the abdomen corner touch the back edge of the hind wing, and make the fold angle up close to but not exactly to the square corner of the head. Notice the stair step here. Fold the other wing up. and open. To make the head we need to squash fold this keel. To aid in squashing this keel it's helpful to puff open the paper from underneath. A fingernail pinch or a tool such as a bamboo skewer or a knitting needle does the trick. Hold the body flat and press flat from the top to squash the keel. Fold the paper under. There's the butterfly's head. And here's what the underside looks like. Fold the wings together over the back. To prevent the paper from ripping here, you may want to adjust by pushing these layers forward and down and then flatten. Let's taper the abdomen. The short edges at the back are turned in. Leave a little distance from the end. Match the other flap and tuck in. Fold the wings from the top of the head to the gap at the back. And then set them out to the sides. And here it is, a butterfly for Del Rosa Marshall. Enjoy.